Hey guys, how's it going? It's Thomas. I make indie games for a living. Today's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna jump inside of Unity. Actually, that's not true. We're gonna jump inside of Photoshop today and we're gonna be doing some concept art for the various dog breeds in our game. We're gonna focus on allowing the player to feel like they're customizing their dog, but we also wanna be efficient here, economical, and basically, have a, just a few mesh types with a lot of different textures available to allow the player to pick the breed of dog that they want to play with. So let's jump inside of Unity and get started. And by the way guys, I wanted to let you know that my brand new course, Easy 3D, is totally free right now. Click below to enroll for free and you'll immediately be taken to the program where you're gonna learn how to make your very first 3D game. And here's the best part, you're gonna do it fast. And you really don't need to know anything about Unity or code or 3D modeling. It's really kinda easy and it's totally free. Click below to make your very first 3D game. I can't wait to see you succeed. All right, let's not waste any more time. This is what we've currently got in our concepting document for our breed types. Currently, we've got little Chris here. You can name your character. We're gonna name him Chris. <laughs> this is our pug, okay? So this is our pug breed. And this was designed by Felipe. Felipe is the 3D modeler for this little side project called, well, we're actually not sure what it's called. I think we're gonna call it something like Good Boy or something like Pug, even though we're gonna do a probably a lot of different breeds here. So we'll, we'll figure out a cool name for the game. Maybe we'll get you guys involved here. So this is what he's worked on currently. I took some screenshots here, placed them into Photoshop. We're gonna tweak this, add a little sweater, and we're gonna do two other breeds as well. The reason we're doing this in Photoshop is because I want a specific vision for these player types. I want them to look great from a left or a, sort of a, I don't know what the, the angle is here, but sort of a front facing angle, but also a top view angle. So that's really a challenge in 3D. So we're going to try and figure out in Photoshop how to make each breed look great. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with just a naked pug. Okay. That's really what we're going to start with here. Um, so we originally tried doing a kilt here, um, but the game isn't really themed in the medieval times anymore. The game is a little bit different uh, than what we had anticipated, <laughs> which by the way, is that is totally normal and you guys should never feel bad about that. If your game changes, that's because you're playing your game and you're getting to know your game. Um, so I've been doing this since I was 16 years old making games and my games always become something different than what I anticipated. By the way, the style that we're going for here is a much more crisp, stylized look, something that you might see in like Wind Waker um, or that Goose game, right? Very simplistic, uh, very little texturing involved, okay? So we're gonna do something like this. All I'm doing is filling in, making him this uh, just flat, furry color. We're gonna put on the sweater probably towards the end of the illustration today. But I want to uh, sort of tell you guys a trick that I've been doing for a while. Um, and I started doing this recently, actually. Instead of drawing stuff from scratch for, let's say, a 2D game or for concept art, what I like to do is take 3D models that already exist. So in this case, it's a model created by Felipe, and he's the 3D modeler for this game. What I like to do is take those models and just trace over them. Perspective is really difficult. Um, getting perspective perfect every single time you decide to do an illustration in your game uh, is kind of a pain. And so what we're doing here is we're just using models that have already been created to create some perspective here. Um, that way I don't have to come up with the perspective myself for each breed type. Rather, what we're gonna do here is just use, see, um, what we're gonna do here is just use the model that we've already created here. Okay, so there's our, let's see here. Let's get rid of that shade actually. I think he's fine without any shading there. Um, so that's our pug. So the pug is done. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool. 
So we have our little pug here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this folder and we're gonna do it the next breed type, okay? And Felipe is gonna be able to use these to these uh, different folders here to reference while he's creating his models, all right? So he's not gonna have to guess and check what I want as the art director for the game. Um, he's just going to be following this top view and the side view here uh, to the best of his ability. So the next breed I wanted to do is something like a golden retriever type. And really what I'm doing here is I, I, I think there's probably three meshes that we're going to want to use. We're going to want to use a sort of a, a golden retriever sort of fluffier um, look, but not necessarily a pug. And then we're also going to want to do something like a black lab. Okay. So I think those are the three meshes we're going to do, and then we can swap out the textures as much as we want. Okay. All right, and one of you asked me, uh, what is that? Plaster, Thomas, have you gotten into multiplayer game dev yet? Absolutely, we, we tested this game out last week in multiplayer and it was really, really fun. Um, so what I wanna do is get the game done first and then throw in multiplayer later. Okay, so what I wanna do here is I'm gonna jump into my browser and we're gonna type in golden retriever puppy. And we're gonna take a look at the golden retriever puppies and try and capture, in essence, this golden retriever look. Felipe and I also talked about maybe replicating our own dogs. Um, I think golden retriever is probably the best, like most global look. And so I'm gonna start with that. Um, but a golden doodle, you could probably make a, this look like, a, from far away, this would probably look like a golden doodle. Um, I'm not sure what uh, Felipe's dog is, but, um, a, a fluffy dog with long hair and ears in the front. That's really what we're going for here. So to reduce my, I guess, to keep me sane here, I'm actually gonna hide this one over here so I don't panic. I really just wanna be able to see this one on the left side and start working, okay? The first thing I wanna do is get the uh, colors right for his feet. So I'm actually gonna merge all that together here and we're going to just color his feet just that color, okay? So we're gonna take this here, this here. And one of you mentioned earlier, and you're, you're totally fine to have an opinion. Um, you mentioned, Thomas, the game needs more shading. Well, you know, maybe you're right, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a game cheaply. We're not going to worry too much about a ton of details and texturing here. What we really want to worry about is getting the game done, right? I'm a big fan of getting things done quickly, but also make them look artsy and trendy and interesting and beautiful, but doing it fast, okay? So the ears, I think they're, they're not, they're, we're, we're gonna need to tweak them a little bit here. Um, how Felipe wants to handle this in the modeling software is really up to him. But for me, I know that the ears need to be something like right here, okay? Something like that. Actually, that was a great, that was a great selection here, so I'm just gonna fill it in, actually. Um, so let's do that. There we go, we'll probably do a little bit darker so that it's uh, clear what kind of dog this is. So we're gonna zoom out here. Zooming out's really important when you're doing an illustration, both for 2D and for 3D, because you wanna make sure that players can see exactly what your character is from far away. And oftentimes they're gonna be looking at your character from far away. So you wanna make sure they understand what they're looking at. We just had a little bit of shading there to make it look like a low poly, shaded polygon. I'm gonna make them much bigger here. And here's the thing about golden retriever ears. They actually kinda of go to a point, right? So we're gonna make them look a little bit pointier. Now having them a different color is problematic because now he looks a little bit like a, I don't know, not a golden retriever. Um, <laughs> so let's take a look here. Let's take, um, I'm gonna merge this together here and we're gonna try and create some sort of blend here between these two colors. Okay, let's see. Nope, we're gonna figure it out though. Let's delete that and I'm going to go back to the drawing board. I thought I liked it, but the problem was it didn't look like a golden retriever. It looked cool, but it didn't look like a golden retriever puppy, okay? 
All right, so I like this general shape here. The mouth is a lot more pointed, okay? So that's really what I was talking about earlier with the mesh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three different meshes. Um, we're gonna have flat mesh, like a flat nosed mesh, a long nosed mesh, and then like a thin uh, nosed mesh. So just the nose really is gonna be what changes along with the ears. Um, but what we're gonna try and do here, this is a challenge, but what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and get the um, the prefab that we're using for the player to simply swap the mesh and the texture associated with the mesh. And the rig, the bones, work with that new mesh. That's, that's the goal here. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if it works here. Um, so let's go ahead and cut this over here. So what I'm using is the polygon lasso tool. I love using the polygon lasso tool because it allows me to use this. I just use my mouse to illustrate things. Okay, So let's fill in the nose area here. So we're really starting with a blank slate here. And what I want to do, um, this blank slate, I'm actually going to save it so that I can use it for the um, black lab as well. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So there's our general shape. I'm actually going to merge all this together here and we're going to copy this as our blank dog. We're gonna keep that saved so that we can continue working on our golden retriever. So a golden retriever has like these triangular ears, right? So let's try and figure this out. Let's do his nose first. Like, I'm pretty sure I know how to do his nose. Let's keep that pug up here. I wanna see how the pug is handled so that stylistic, stylistically we're, we're sort of in the same ballpark here. Um, Okay, it's a, more of a long nose and he's gonna have, let me do something here, let me Google search something really quick. We're gonna do golden retriever puppy cartoon and take a look at how the cartoons are handled. Ah, yes, 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 yes. So there's a good one, there's definitely a good reference here. So we're just using various reference image, images here to get an idea of what our dog is supposed to look like here. So having a flat, a flatter face, I think that's okay, but we'll see here. Let's see here. There we go. And I'm gonna draw in those lines for the mouth just right away ASAP there we go so you have basically nose it's more of that triangular nose there we go okay we're getting there we're feeling it out um, having a little bit there we go yeah yeah, yeah. just like that Man, these shapes you got to be really careful with. Really, really important that we keep it simple, though. There we go. Okay. Now. Now let's add in that mouth we were talking about, okay? So let's just draw that. Basically what we're gonna do is a little line coming down the center. Just like that, okay? And it needs to be seen from far away. 
So it needs to, basically what we're doing here is we're, it's kind of like logo work, logo design. Um, with logos, you want to do the same thing. You want to zoom in and out and make sure it looks really good from far away. We're going to make sure the eyes are similar in size. Um, little dots, similar in size to the pug. We're going to do black eyes here. Yeah, there we go. All the way behind it, there we go. All right, and how we're gonna achieve the fur is that furry feel is a question. I'm not really sure, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot here. So let's keep moving here. Um, Trying to figure out, yeah, we're almost there. That might work actually. That might work. Okay, so we're not gonna do a lot of shading here. We're actually just gonna do, what I mean is by shading less gradients and more hard lines. We're gonna try this out. Not hard lines, what's the word? Um, I guess harder, hard shading is really what, I, what I'm talking about. It's not gradients like that, it's shading. Um, might need to be a little bit darker, because what I'm looking at on that golden retriever is it's a little bit darker. Ooh. Let's try and rotate it, see what we can get here. Trying to get that that look. It's just so subtle. All righty, almost there. Okay, so that's good. I might need to do some shading here, just to darken it. Chris, you're looking good, buddy. Okay. Um, so let's see here. It's sort it's more of a Yeah, it's like a it's like a sad looking ear. It's hard to explain. Um I might want to go with that shape here. We're gonna try it one more time. We're almost there. Oh man, what is that shape? Like comes in. Oh, there we go. There's a good boy. That's what it is. And I think what we could do is get away with that darker color. I think we can. I think we can now. Yeah, there we go. A oh, good boy. Okay. There he is. Oddly enough, he looks a little bit fluffy now. I don't know why. And I'm just going to add in that shading. The light is coming from, honestly, it's a rim light, so it's coming from nowhere. It's just a math equation. So we could probably just create some kind of light here. How how Felipe want to, wants to handle this is really, I think it's a question of the lighting and also the also the mesh. Um, where am I? Where's the? Wait, there we go. I don't know what what just happened, but that looks good. Okay, um, I'm not sure actually. Let's take a look. There's two of them for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. What in the world? There we go. So we're just gonna fill in this ear over here. And by the way, guys, if you haven't downloaded my free 2D game kit below, it's totally free, my treat to you. Use that game kit to make a game for PewDiePie, just like I did. Just make a game for PewDiePie. No, I'm, <laughs> I used that game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, so I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So if you haven't downloaded it, be sure to check it out. It's, a, again, my treat to you. Um, you can download it, you don't even have to use it now. Hey, he looks like a good boy. I like him. Okay, so what we'll do is try and add some shading below his neck just to sort of give an idea of what he's supposed to look like to our 3D modeler, okay? Um, so right here, I want there to be like a, just a, a very subtle shadow just to give an idea of depth so our, our uh, modeler understands what we're going for here. 
Yeah, something like that. Who's a good boy? That's Chris. So yeah, I don't even I don't even think we want to do any mesh for the fur. Um, I think that's good. That's our, that's our buddy. Um, the ear fold is, I think, the key to this. That's what makes that look right. Um, our good boy is gonna have a tail, but I don't think uh, there's no. It doesn't show there, but it's gonna be the same the same tail. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. Like that's that's about all we need to do for our good boy here. Um, so good. I mean, maybe we could add a little bit of shading to his feet. Sometimes it's a good idea. This is basically like ambient occlusion, essentially. Just a little bit of shading so it looks like he's actually standing on something. Um, and then we could also do this. Very nice, very nice. All right, now, remember what I said. Um, the other, the uh, we gotta do this angle as well. So that's actually, let's take a look here. I'm gonna save this out. Let's remove this. Now that we see what he looks like in this angle, um, and also we don't need to see the pug here. I mean, let's move him back centered though. All right, so we'll hide the pug. We have this blank one here. Um, oh crap, we're gonna need to copy over the pug really quick. So what I'm gonna do is copy over the pug. There we go. Go to our golden retriever. And for some reason, not, why are you not naked? Oh, I copied over again. Here we go. There we go. There he is. All right, we'll copy this little buddy over and just move him to the gold retriever here. There we go. All right, there we go. Okay. So what we're going to do now is same thing we did with that angle here. We're going to just basically clean it up so it doesn't look like a pug. And again, guys, I'm using the polygon lasso tool. This is the same thing that I've used when working on my 2D games as well. 2D games, same process. I just highlight the area I want to fill in and then I fill it in, right? Um, this ear, we need to remove that. There we go. So I'm just filling in a generic shape for a good boy, just like that, okay? Okay. We could probably add in a little bit of shadow as well. Um, something like, something like this, just a little shadow. Maybe fill in this bottom piece here. There we go, look at that. All right, whoops, not sure what happened there. Let's zoom in again. And we're gonna clean this nose off, AKA cut it off. We're gonna, there we go, just, there we go. And then we're gonna fill it in with just those colors. So we're basically starting with a sphere here. It's almost like if we were in a 3D modeling software, we would just fill it in, okay? Um, something like that, and then oh, down here is gonna be that Sort of peach color, and we'll we'll tweak the colors of each one so that they're pretty unique and distinct. So the golden retriever will be gold, and maybe the pug will be like a gray or something. I don't know. No, there is a tail. It's just not going to show at this angle. It would be nice if it was like this, but the way the current model is, it's it's like that. Um, and I don't I don't want to, you know, get Felipe to do more work than we can afford. I'm a big proponent of getting things done quickly, despite making plenty of mistakes. It's, it's always the goal. Okay. So that shading is just weird right there. I don't even know why that's the shading. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is take this and just fill in there. There we go, that looks a lot better. Okay. So we've got our golden retriever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this over actually and put it in our blank, our blank dog here so that we have the original saved so that we don't have to do that again, okay? All right, so the first thing I wanna do here, I think I wanna get the eye position. Um, eyes do a lot for your model. So I'm gonna take the same size here, a little bit bigger maybe. 
Yep, nope, that's good. And just uh, plop it right here. And then, ah, so there we go. And then one behind him, right here. Okay, all right, so now we have a general idea of his face. So that's gonna make it easier for me to come up with this shape here for his nose. So I know for my good boy at home, he's got more of a pointed nose. Some dogs have a much flatter nose like a pug, right? So getting that perfect shape is really important, okay? And by the way, for those of you who are curious, I'm a big dog guy. I love dogs. My dog Jeb is my favorite buddy. He's laying right next to me right now. There's his nose. Oh, what a good boy. Look at that nose. Oh. And then we're just going to create that mouth. I hope we can get away with it. Um, let's see here. There's not a lot of detailing there, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get away with it. Oh. That's a good boy. He looks great. Awesome. All right, let's just copy over this shape because this shape is tough to, I don't know why it's so hard to get perfect. I'm gonna copy it over and put it on the, the doggy's head over here. Look at that good boy. <laughs> oh, wow, what a sweetie. We'll bring the skew over here. Mm -hmm. And then this one goes behind him. We're gonna flip it horizontally and bring it down. That looks great. Honestly, I don't have a huge problem with it. Yeah, originally the idea was, you know, make him curly, make him a doodle, uh, but that's that will be that's tough to get all that that hair uh, exactly the way we want it. Um, so I think that's a good boy for our golden retriever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna label this as. It's not really, it's not even a golden retriever. We're gonna call this Mesh B, long nose. Uh, no, we're gonna call it floppy ears. Guys, let's figure this out. What is the name of this mesh? It's not really a golden retriever because I wanna be able to change the color. I want players to be able to change the color. What kind of dog would this be? We've got the pug shape. We've got the retriever shape. Um, so let's let's label this. Is it? Would it be retriever? doggy <laughs> I think retriever is good so that's mesh type B that's retriever okay I think that's decent because what I want to what I want to be able to be done here guys is let's let's by the way let's merge all this together and I can get rid of you buddy let's merge all this together here what I want is the player to be able to choose the shape and the color so they can change it to um, really, that's there's only about a couple colors you could do with this. You could do like a gray, and then a yellow, and then maybe a like black. But the problem with black is you'd have to. We're not going to be able to do that right now, honestly. In terms of the budget, the scale of this game, I think I want to be able to let the the player start with just a few, uh, a few types. For those of you curious about Father, you're asking in the chat. Father is my first person shooter game that we've been working on for a while. We have taken a break from that to just do something a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun. Um, so we're doing that right now. We'll see where this leads. Father was, was uh, we, had, we had a long rush to get the game done. Um, I love lower cased Comic Sans. It doesn't really fit the vibe we're going for for this game, but I'm gonna use it for this con concept art. Um, great. Yeah, father was wearing me out. So I, uh, 
I needed a a break. Okay, there's our dog breed golden retriever. Um, I'm gonna send this on over to Felipe. Um, just because he's working right now, might as well give it to him. Uh, he's probably ready to go anyway. Maybe not. It's up to you, buddy, when you want to work on this. I'm going to save this over. That's our retriever. I'm just going to merge all these together. And I'll send it over to Felipe. I'm going to say retriever rather than a doodle type a or a curly fluffy type made the most sense cuz he was trying to do a fluffy type and it wasn't we, we it was really hard so there's our retriever type okay and I'm going to go ahead, guys, really quick, and check on GitHub. Me and Felipe are working right now together, and so he wants to make sure I've pushed everything. Um, so basically, our projects are stored on um, GitHub, and we just push and pull changes. That doesn't mean we don't have issues with the server every once in a while, uh, or the repo, the repo but um, generally speaking, we just use GitHub, and it's just me and him pushing things back and forth. Um, there's no, yeah, there's no, nothing for me to push here. So I'm, I'm actually going to let him know that everything's pushed. All right. Now let's work on the next type. Are you guys ready? And by the way, if you haven't checked out my free 3d course, it's called easy 3d. It's on how to make games quick and fast in 3d using no knowledge of modeling or anything like that. Just using unity. Check that out below. Uh, enroll. It's totally free to enroll. Um, and you can do it whenever you want, go at your own pace, have it forever. All right, so we've got a pug, look at this. We've got the pug here. Hey, let's, by the way, let's uh, add this here as well. I like to have nice clean labels. There we go, let's type pug. So really, I think just two types, two types is all we need. Now, for the pug, because this is a golden color, but we also have that retriever, I think this guy, he's gonna be a different color. We're gonna have blonde, which is the golden retriever. We're gonna have probably orange for the pug, something orange. Um, and then for the lab, it'll be like a, a black dog, okay? So let's see if we can tweak this color here to make it look unique. Gonna be tough. I think that looks pretty cool actually. And here's what I'll do. I'll remove the colorization coloration from his eyes like this and his nose. I just want to get an idea here. Would it be okay to make the pug red? That's the question. I think so. What kind, of, what kind of pug colors are there out there? I'm gonna type in pug dog and see what kind of colors we can see. So it's, it's that blonde color, unfortunately. So here's what we'll do then. We'll make it extra, extra blonde, all right? Meaning almost pink, drop the saturation down like this, okay? That's our pug. For the golden retriever, we'll just go golden. So basically what we're gonna be going, working with is yellow, red, and then black, okay? So for the retriever here, I wonder if we could do something like this. Um, he's like super gold. Man, I don't know. I think we need to just keep it as is. Yeah. I think keeping them the same color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to worry about the coloring, what we're going to do, because it just doesn't look right. We're going to keep the colors all the same. Um, and we're going to and let's remove this Chris name. It's funny, but it's kind of getting in the way of my brain. So these are our two types of dogs, OK? Um, 
what we want to do is we basically want to invert the coloring of this for the black lab, basically. Honestly, we could probably use this, shrink the, uh, the ears a little bit, and we're, we're good to go with the black lab. Let's type in black lab, and we could even do a Dalmatian as well with that same mesh. I mean, we could probably knock out four different dog types really quickly. Um, yeah, black labs have a very similar look. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Let me show you. Let's take this, just pull it down. This here, pull it down. Man, I didn't realize it was gonna be this easy. Um, so this is gonna be just a lab. And guys, obviously, if, if we have the funding and the time and we feel it necessary, we'll slowly add more dog types, you know? I see no reason why we can't add more dog types as long as the meshes are uh, maintaining their, uh, they're parented correctly to the bones, right? And the mesh actually moves with the armature. All right, guys, so let's take this. The first thing I wanna do here, um, I wanna see if we can just simply do a color, drop it down to about like that, okay? Now, what we need to do though, is I wanna get the eyes looking right. So he's gonna have white eyes. Cut those out here. There's the eyes. So you can play as a lab here. Um, it's gonna look a little bit different though because a lot of these things, I'm gonna merge all this together actually. So let's do this. Whoops. I'm gonna take that, merge this here. Okay, good, we've got the eyes, the ears. Let's bring over a black lab cartoon. They actually have deep brown eyes. But this good boy here is a good reference here. I, mean, I think what I'm gonna do here is to give the black lab a little bit of uniqueness, maybe give him a, a, a bold red tongue, right? A little bit of orange in it to match the color scheme of the game. So what we're doing when it comes to playability of characters, I want the players to attach themselves pretty quickly uh, to the game. And so if you allow them to choose a dog that maybe they look similar to the one that maybe they currently have or they had as a kid, that's the ideal here. Um, the ears themselves, I think we could probably go a little bit grayer, honestly, for the black lab. So what I'm gonna do, watch this. I'm actually gonna select the ears and then I'm gonna add a brightness contrast filter over top. And invert those. Control I inverts the mask, increase the brightness. There we go, check it out. All right, so that's our black lab. I mean, that honestly is all we really needed to do for the black lab. Um, we might wanna do brown eyes, I, I don't know. Let's take a look here. If you guys can hear my kid screaming, welcome to my life. He's having a good day. I love him, by the way. He's just in a mood. Do I? Do we like the black eyes? I think we do. Yeah, I kind of like those black eyes better. Um, so let's do this. I'm gonna select the eyes as well and we're gonna increase the brightness just a tad, yep, of his body. So it's it's like, it's a grayish color, you know? Um, actually, what am I doing? There we go. Do we get it? Can we get away with that? I feel like the ears, they don't need to be that dark, right? So what I'm gonna do is brightness contrast, 
increase the brightness uh, of the ears. Yeah, 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 that's what we'll do. We'll invert the mask here. There we go. There we go. I think that'll do. I'm not sure how that'll look in the actual game. Um, but overall, I think I think we're okay here. Let's take a What makes a lab look very different? Um, very unique. Something we can tweak the mesh. I think it's that nose. I think it's that nose. So we, what we can do is take all of this. Let's merge it all together. I'm pretty confident in all of it. With the tongues here. Merge it together. And I'm going to take this nose. Copy it. Pull it out a little bit. This might work. Let's take a look here. Whoops. Just maybe just a little bit. I never had a lab growing up. Yeah, I think that that feels a little bit more like a lab. Obviously, probably something more like that. So I'll take this and just fill it in about like this. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a, that's a good boy. I think he's fine. Um, let's let's increase the the length of his nose here as well. And by the way, guys, one of the reasons I'm not reading the chat right now is because. There's so many things that you can do differently. I get it. To make it look more like a dog. Um, that's gonna just completely overwhelm me and I'll just get lost. So I love you guys very much. It's just hard for me sometimes to focus and read the chat. I love that. That looks great. Um, sweet. We've got a lab, we've got a pug, we've got a retriever. We can even take this, pull it over, Increase the brightness contrast significantly and do a Dalmatian. Something like this. And I know for a fact Dal Dalmatians have super long noses. And this is just a really quick way, a uh, really fast way to get another design. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and color these to the proper color here. And these aren't meant to be perfect, guys. Let's take a look at the Dalmatian here. Dalmatian cartoon. So Dalmatians have black ears, uh, pretty long, long faces. Um, so I'm gonna take this here. I don't think we need to make it any longer, but we'll see here. Take this nose here. Now the purpose of this, ooh, that looks like a uh, hound. Oh man, it's all about the nose, I think. <laughs> oh, well, that's funny. Um, cool, yeah. I mean that that really might work. I'm gonna take this here as well and just scale it. Okay. Am I, am I, yeah, there I am. Okay. We're not going to change the skinniness of the dog. The reason why is because the character controller for this game is a ball. Um, I may be incorrect, but Mario 64, I believe the character control is a ball. Also, I know Glover, which is one of my favorite games, or at least one of my favorite games from my childhood. Looking back, not so much. Um, that game was a ball controller as well. And so to keep it feeling like it's a ball controller, we wanna make sure that we're not changing the shape of the actual body of the dog. So that's why we have to keep the shape the same, okay? Hey, we don't have a brown dog. Why don't we just make the retriever brown and call it a day? Yeah. I just realized we don't have a brown dog.
You could definitely do that. What's a brown dog? Does anybody know? What is a brown dog? Is it a hound? Is it a hound dog that's brown? Let's finish this guy first because we might be able to just do five and call it a day. So this is a Dalmatian. Great Dane, Dashend, Boxer, Chocolate Lab. Okay, I think I think we've already got our labs, retrievers, and pugs, and Dalmatians. Which Dalmatian is what what makes it unique, and why I think it needs to be included is because if you want a spotted dog, you can play with a spotted dog. So I think that's all we want to do here for now. one on his booty and then down there okay all right and what my theory is is we've got these shapes here um, we can change out the, the textures and the colors later uh, but for now I think the shapes here are good I honestly feel I'm just gonna not do this Dalmatian we're not gonna do the Dalmatian. That's, I feel like that's overkill, and here's why. We can do that Dalmatian texturing on this shape, okay? So overall, here's some direction I'll provide for Felipe. We're gonna say three mod meshes. Retriever, three mesh types. allow for multiple textures and colors in the future that's what we'll, we'll basically have here now for now i think this is fine um, the next thing i want to do is go ahead and add sweaters for the dogs okay i'm going to scale this down here put it right here uh, i'm going to save that out now let's add some sweaters okay and i want to listen to a different soundtrack let's go ahead and listen to I think I want to listen to um, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. No, we'll get copyright Wind Waker OST. We'll get copy whatever copy struck if we do any of the newer games. There's Outset Island. Good. Okay. Which render pipeline are we using? We're just using the standard for this game. Nothing crazy, nothing unique, or <laughs> one of the, a lot of the, the tools I want to use still rely on the standard pipeline, so I don't really want to deal with it. This music is especially good for a game like this. All right, so we've got our breeds. Um, just wonderful, I think they look great. We've got Pug, Retriever, Lab, the ability to change colors in the future would be really special. I think the red tongue is something to add to all the dogs. What do you guys think? I think every dog needs a tongue. So let's just add that really quick. We'll just add that really quick. Very nice. I love it, beautiful. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring all of this into a smart object, and this is gonna be called Naked Dogs. Okay, this is the background here. By the way, this is what it looks like against the actual world. So this is our world. The drop shadow will probably help a little bit. We could probably bring down the contrast a tad, or the brightness so it's not so white. Um, but really, really, we're not going to be looking at our dog against the sky. It's going to be something like that. So overall, I think we're okay. We could probably just put a green. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right, guys. Next thing I want to do is the sweaters. So doggy sweaters. This is important. So the way we're going to handle this is we're going to have two meshes, identical meshes, 
One mesh is the dog's skin, the other one is over top of it, and it's going to be a transparent shader, and it's just gonna have the sweater on the body, okay? All right, so let's give the doggy some clothes. This will not be hard. We only need to do it for one of them. And so what we're gonna do is some sort of cardigan, obviously, because it's adorable. And there we go. So we're gonna do a red cardigan that matches their tongue. Yes, sir. My heart just skipped a beat. I wonder if we could try and make it look like a cardigan. Like, you would basically have it like this. Now he looks like a brute. I want him to be Sweetie Pie. So we're gonna do something like this. There we go. He kind of looked like a uh, a jerk <laughs> with that V-neck on. Oh, uh, well, that's great. And then a little little cardigan down here, or a little lip down here as well. I don't like this music. Stop. Stop. How about Outside Island? Ooh, I love this one. And then we'll just add a little shade here. And we're gonna be able to duplicate this onto every single dog, okay? Now every doggy needs a collar as well, don't, don't they? Um, so what we'll do is... <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's do this really quick. Let's add a little shade here. And then a dog collar. We may need to cut this short a little bit so it leaves room for the dog collar, but what I'm gonna do is actually copy it and then paste it and then just move it up. It's especially important to have a collar because um, we may need to just put it right next to it. Let's see. Like this. It's especially important because we've got a dog collar sound that plays when you run. That looks a lot better. And then we're going to do just a little circle of golden orange. Right? Beep. Look at that friend. Look at that good boy. Why does he look like he's a a mobster I don't know what it is is it the, is it the sleeves maybe they need to do it like this I think that's cuter what do you guys think there we go that's better I love that and you'll be able to change the sweaters guys that's the theory at least we'll see if we have time to make that merge the layers together here just pull it over here to our pug. See, this is the benefit of using the same mesh for the body, guys. Same old mesh. There we go. Oh, and then also the sweater on this part of his body as well, or this angle here. And why are we doing multiple angles, guys? so that sometimes what happens is if you see something from one angle a concept artist will, will see it perhaps differently than the 3d artist and so we're, we're doing it in both angles here so that the 3d artist and the concept artist are communicating properly okay? so we want to make sure that everybody's all on the same page here 
By the way, if you haven't downloaded my free 2D game kit below, be sure to check that out. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. You can use it however you want. I used it to make a game for PewDiePie in just 14 days. Be sure to check that out below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. So the music is definitely going to feel like Wind Waker. It's also going to feel a little bit like Downton Abbey. Has anybody ever um, listened to the soundtrack for Downton Abbey? I can't play it because we'll get a copyright for this video. But that is the feel. I would, I would recommend going and listening to that because it's, it's very delicate and, and beautiful, which is definitely my style um, when I write my music. So we're going to try and mix the two. So the playfulness of Wind Waker with the more um, delicate, classical, ornate feeling of Downton Abbey. Okay, uh, we'll cut this just a little bit there. All right, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we're going to simply add some darkness here. And that little collar. Whoopsie. Merge that together, guys. And then just bring this sweater on over. To the pug. The pug has a different ear, so it fits a little bit different. The lab does not have a different ear, so that should fit perfect. Yeah. Let's fix the pug really quick. And I'm going to take these uh, concepts here. And I'm going to send them on over to Felipe. One of the things I want to do, though, just, just for the purposes of creating this sort of demo, is make the golden retriever look a little bit more golden, um, or, a little, or a little bit more brown, I should say. So I'm going to do that really quick here. Um, let's do something like that. Because I really want it to feel different, like a totally different experience. Um, that honestly looks great. And then what you can do is just obviously uh, fill in what uh, you don't want to change color. There we go. Um, so that's sort of our brown, our brown doggy here. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Maybe contrast or something. I'm not so sure what to change here. Yeah, increase the contrast. Honestly, increasing the contrast for everything looks pretty good, but it's. I think it's especially important to do with the retriever here. So I'm going to increase the contrast for my retriever. Like that. And decrease it here. And then also that hue saturation is a little too much for me. I'll just drop it down like that. And guys, look at that. We've got three doggy kites for our game. Really quick though, I do think it's important to note that that, um, the black lab is a little too, it's just a little too dark for the purposes of this game. So we might need to just, uh, let's see here. Just make it not so dark, okay? There we go, drop it down. Yeah, that, that feels good. I feel like it should be a little bit, have a color to it. Um, so let's do a colorize here. Like a blue. Very faint blue. Yep, yep. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Um, that way you have sort of a, a change in color from dog to dog. So we got like a blue golden retriever, or a blue lab, a golden retriever and then a pug i feel like the pug we could probably get away with sorry to keep making tweaks here guys but i think the pug what we could do is get away with um making him a little more gray see now we have 
three totally different colors. Oh yeah, we've got a white leg there. Yeah, we don't need we don't we don't need that. You're right. So let me fix that really quick. Um, so it'd be black. Yep. There we go, guys. And now all we got to do is hop on over to Discord, copy this. Actually, let's put it on our document, our game design document. Um, so I'm gonna merge all these together, copy, paste them into our game design document. So I don't want to show you the game design document yet, guys, but we've got this big game design document, and I'm going to create a new section here um, called, I mean, I, I think I can show you the document. Let's see here. I don't, I don't think there's any bad words or anything. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, I can show you guys. Um, so this, this is our um, game design document here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to, we have a concept art bin here and we're going to type in dog types. Just paste that in. There we go. Those are our three dog types. So now I can just share this with Felipe. Uh, let him know that we're, we're good to go with the dog types and he's going to go ahead and jump into blender or whatever 3ds max maybe, uh, and model those. And the goal is to get them to work perfectly with the rig that we have. Guys, this was super, super duper fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. By the way, just remember you can check out my free 3D course called, uh, what is it called? Easy 3D. It's totally free. A lot of you have actually taken it. If you've taken the course, let us know. A lot of you really enjoyed the program. It's it's uh, go at your own pace, totally free. You can learn how to make 3D games um, with no knowledge of 3D modeling, which is something I'm a fan of. So check that out below. If that's not something you're interested in, you're interested in more than 2D game development, check out my 2D game kit below. It's totally free. My treat to you. You can use it however you want. You can make a million bucks off this game kit. I really don't care. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. Leave a like, subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment below, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Get over here. Get down. <coughs> hey, thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below. It's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which was really cool. This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean a ton to me. Hit subscribe. And also, this is important. Hit that notification bell. Here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, you can watch me make my next game and let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have. And you might just show up, your chat might just show up in the next video that I upload. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye.